Okay, this is the gold line salt cell. It's got this control panel here. It's a little loud right now because I have it on. Um, but it has a diagnostic panel. It's showing low salt right now, 1900. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean this cell. I'll show you how I do this gold line cell. Okay, you're gonna need your safety gloves and your mask for the acid. And I use um, 3M safety sunglasses. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. So you just basically unscrew these two here. There's one here, there's one in the back. Should be hand tight. You just have to unscrew these two. Okay, inside these unions there's a O-ring. So make sure when you put it back together the O-ring is in there. Sometimes if you don't have a lot of play in the pipe, they'll pop that out trying to get it back in. This one has a really good play. I can actually move it back and forth, no problem. Okay, with the power off of the unit, you want to drop it into a bucket of water, like this. And then I slowly pour the acid in. Um, I get about a 1 6 to 1 8 mix by pouring slowly. I'll show you right now. Okay, so we slowly pour the acid in. Okay, you want to keep pouring the acid until you get that bubbling effect right there in the cell. You can see it starting to bubble. And that's about what you want. I'm going to pour a little bit more in. And you don't want to overdo it with the acid because you can ruin the cell, so... Okay, that looks like it's finished up here. I'm going to go ahead and um, pull it out and rinse off the cell real quick and then reinsert it. I just want to quickly rinse that out and get all the acid out of there. And make sure you put it back in the same direction you take it off. Take a photo maybe before you take it off, that way you can match it up. Sometimes you'll forget which way it goes and that's a little bit confusing. You want to just tighten these unions up right now on both ends. Okay, it'll take a couple minutes for this uh, unit to come back on. Okay, now if the inspect cell button is still um, red when you turn it back on, you just hold down this diagnostic button right here. It'll reset the system, and then it'll clear up that. As you can see, the salt level actually reads 2200 now, when it read 1900 before, 2100. So it was a little bit off of the dirty cell, but it's still a little bit low. Again, if your cell is dirty, it will give you a false salt reading false low salt reading. So make sure you always clean your cell before you add salt to your pool. Okay, here's the same cell hooked up to a Aqualogic control panel and it's using this as the power center. The problem with this is that um, the salt cell generates a lot of power when it starts up and so it has a tendency to blow the panel and this one here actually has a burned back panel I'll show you right now what happened go ahead and open the panels you can see what happened and if you look on the back of this circuit board it's got a burn mark and that's where the salt cell when it powers on it flared up and burned it and there's a link that will show you how to repair it we tried soldering it but it didn't work so again that's the f one of the main failures with the, using the Aqualogic as your power center for your salt cell. When it turns on, it generates a lot of amps and it could blow the breaker, the uh, circuit board, burn it. So if you have uh, Aqualogic with the salt cell powered into it, you might want to budget for the fact that it's going to burn out your panel. One of these days it'll surge and burn it out, I can almost guarantee you. Uh, my neighbor had the same problem happen to his about six months ago. And it seems to happen more when it's running in the summertime when the when it gets 100 degrees or so, it gets kind of hot back here in this panel. 